how did one of the world's great cities get that way? How did San Francisco evolve from a gold rush boom town to one of the most sophisticated, beloved places on earth? How did it become everybody's favorite city? In a word, transit. Steel rails, steel cable, copper wires, creating the ties that bind our neighborhoods together, allowing a cramped village on the shores of San Francisco Bay to stretch all the way out to the Pacific. From the pre-earthquake days of cable cars on Market Street, to the decades when the ferry building was the second busiest transit terminal in the world and Market Street roared to the sound of streetcars on four tracks side by side, transit built this city. Boats, trains and streetcars bringing workers and shoppers from the peninsula the East Bay, Marin and the former sand dunes west of Twin Peaks to work and shop in the most vibrant and successful downtown west of the Mississippi. Much of the San Francisco of that era is gone, of course, but a surprising amount survives, in large part because of the city's continuing commitment to world-class mass transit. Through the Municipal Railway, America's first publicly owned metropolitan transit system, and because of Muni's nonprofit preservation partner, Market Street Railway. For more than 20 years, our volunteer-based organization has worked to establish historic streetcars side-by-side with the famed cable cars as an integrated part of Muni's system. Our members took the lead in mounting the historic trolley festivals of the 1980s that proved the concept. Then we played a major role in bringing the F-Line from vision to reality and helped make it the most popular vintage transit line in North America. We helped find and preserve dozens of additional vintage vehicles, including this 1914 Muni streetcar brought home from a museum through our members' contributions and partly restored at our volunteer restoration facility. Then moved to the Muni shops for the final steps to return it to service for the first time since 1958. We also restored the 1917 work car towing it. We even found and restored a 1907 cable car from the vanished O'Farrell Jones and Hyde line, now the city's official ceremonial cable car. We are taking the lead in adding a second historic streetcar line, the E-Line, on the Embarcadero from Mission Bay and the Giants Ballpark to the Ferry Building and Fisherman's Wharf, with extensions being planned to Fort Mason and possibly the Presidio. Thanks largely to our advocacy, all the track and stations for the first phase of the E-Line are already finished, and all the additional restorable streetcars needed for this service expansion are already in Muni's hands. And now, Market Street Railway has launched a major initiative to increase the value of Muni's unmatched historic transit assets by creating Museums in Motion with extensive educational displays right on board the streetcars and cable cars sharing the story of how they helped build our city and celebrating San Franciscans who built our city's history. Every streetcar will have a different display, each helping explain an aspect of how important attractive public transportation has always been and continues to be in making cities livable and economically vital. All this educational material and much more will be available on streetcar.org, the Market Street Railway website, already an award-winning online destination. A curriculum will be developed for teachers and parents to use, and ultimately a special 1924 streetcar owned by Market Street Railway will be restored as the teaching trolley for class field trips and family excursions, bringing this curriculum to life. These museums in motion are complemented by Market Street Railway's traditional museum space where the F-Line and E-Line meet at the new Hotel Vitale across from the ferry building. Here, visitors will learn more about how transit built our city with the extra dimension of multimedia presentation of rare vintage motion picture footage and photographs, giving even more dimension to that experience. A small shop will feature original merchandise that celebrates transit's role in our diverse city's history. These plans depend on contributions from people who believe what we do is valuable to keeping San Francisco the vibrant city it is. Our organization builds the public support that keeps adequate public funding flowing to Muni to operate and maintain this unique vintage service. Our mission, as we see it, is to help that service deliver the greatest possible economic value to our city and to ensure that in San Francisco, the past will be present in the future.